I'm Eric Schmidt, class of 1976. I was an electrical engineering major because there was no computer science, now there is. And I'm now the CEO of Google. It seems to me that people go to college and then they join their firms and in between the ages of 25 or 35, they learn a lot. And then all of a sudden, they want everything not to change. And inevitably, something new comes along, a new idea, a new fashion, a new country, a new war, whatever, that upsets everything. So the lesson to be learned after years of watching this is that the norm is change. So what we want to do is we want to constantly reinvent ourselves. Now it's easy to say that, how do you do it? In our case, we encourage our employees to spend 20% of their time working on whatever they're interested in, not what their boss wants them to work on. Out of that, most of our great new products have come. Many different leadership styles work. There's not one leadership style that is the way in which corporations, institutions succeed. You'll have passionate, charismatic, and disorganized leaders. You'll have boring and rational and precise leaders. What really matters about a leader is their commitment to getting to the right answer and to doing it in the right way. And however they get there, if they get to the right answer, people respect them. Along the way, you'll have conflict. And you can resolve it in many different ways. If you don't seek out the conflict, you won't excel. Because without the conflict, at least the ideas in conflict, you won't hear the best ideas. When I thought about where to go to college, everyone assumed I would go to a technical school, someplace where people who with my interests would go. But I was attracted to Princeton precisely because engineering was not its primary focus. And I believe that the value of a liberal arts education, just in general, just learning about the world and learning about other people, would serve me in some inquit way, some way in which I didn't really know. And that's proven true, that the skills, and in particular the social experiences and the exposure to the non-technical part of the world as a young person, made a huge difference for me. In my case, I met a brilliant professor who got me interested in computing and got me interested in the foundations of the kinds of things I did after I left Princeton. So it was the combination of critical thinking and the fact that you had such good access to professors who you could really talk to that as a very, very young person had a huge impact on me. My name is Eric Schmidt and I'm a Princeton engineer.